Hello, my friends. This is Megan Elizabeth from AboveRubyStudio.com and the brand new She Makes Dot Club. And I'm really excited to bring to you a few videos using the Cricut Explore and Design Space sponsored by the She Makes Club. We're going to be doing some incredible things inside She Makes with the Cricut Explore. And I wanted to kind of get back to the basics and show you some of the things about the brand new update for Design Space that Cricut has just come out with and released. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to get a first look here and I'm going to show you some troubleshooting and how to's. So if you take a look at the brand new Design Space, it's going to give you some new windows. Uh, you go to design.cricut.com and you'll be able to kind of scroll through and see there's a kind of almost like a Pinterest for Cricut projects now. And I love how it's kind of laid out. It's a lot simpler to use, a lot more easy to navigate and you can kind of go through there kind of quick. But when you go to Create. It's going to have you sign in. It's going to ask you to download their new plugin and it'll automatically update the plugin. So this kind of takes a second. I know I went through really quick, but I know you can kind of look through those screens by yourself. Now it gave me this error saying move to trash. And this is because the MacBook that I have likes to protect my computer from unidentified developers and things like that. But I trust Cricut. I trust what they're doing. And I want to install this anyway. So if you get this message, um, I had to do a little bit of digging, but I went through Cricut Help and I found the unidentified developer uh, go around or the troubleshooting for um, my MacBook. Now I'm going to show you that really quick, but I, I'm going to show you how to do it. But I also want to say make sure that the browser you are using is the most up-to-date version of your browser um, for your Chrome or your Safari. Uh, Firefox, I believe, is, is supported as well, but make sure it's the most up-to-date. Okay, so we're going to go over to this help screen, and I was scrolling through. You have to go to your system preferences. So I'm going to go to my Mac system preferences, and then from there, I'm going to scroll down and go to my security and privacy. I'm making sure I'm following the directions. In the security and privacy, there's a little lock. I'm going to unlock that, and I have to type in my own MacBook password to unlock that. And then I'm going to change this allow from anywhere, okay? And I'm going to make that change. And then from there, I should be able to go back over and open that download. So let's go back over to our download. I'm going to download it again. It's going to pop up. It takes a second. Once that pops up, I'm going to be able to open this up and start running the download for the Cricut Design Space. See, it says it's giving me a little warning and it's saying open. So what I did was I opened it, I ran the process, and then once I was finished with the download, I went back into that preferences screen and I locked it back up. So now it's giving me the prompt for the new design space and I'm gonna just go through the prompts. It is going to make me do an agreement and you can kind of scroll through this agreement and read, you know, it does allow um, monitoring, you're not allowed to mask your identity. Um, there's a whole bunch of things in there that some people are going to want to note and pay attention to. There are um, guidelines to follow in how to use Cricut Design Space and um, what can make you not be able to use Cricut Design Space and a whole bunch of other things. So I did go through it. Um, at the end of the day, if you want to use Cricut Design Space, you have to agree to the terms. So know what you're agreeing to, but then it's going to go through the Design Space process, which is really awesome. And I have to type in my MacBook password again. Um, and yeah, I typed in the wrong one, of course. <laughs> we do that sometimes. And I still typed in the wrong one. Sticky fingers. Anyway, um, it'll finish the download. And then, like I said, I did go back into the preferences and I locked it back up to the system uh, preferences because now I can use Cricut Design Space regardless of that preference. Um, it was just opening that actual file. That can be a little tricky for some. And like I said, just make sure that your browsers are up to date. This is Safari that I'm using here. Um, I like to use Google Chrome a lot and I've been using it with Chrome since. So um, I just refreshed the screen and now you can see this is the brand new design space. It's still in beta um, at the time of the recording this, but I wanted to share it with you as quickly as possible. And uh, we'll be creating some really fun projects at the She Makes Club. But you can see some of my own projects right here. And as it loads, it now uh, kind of features projects. It shows new projects from the Cricut Access. And then it kind of breaks it out that you can go by category, you can go by vinyl, by iron on, um, cards, uh, scrapbook layouts, you can kind of go through and it's like its own Pinterest just for 
Cricut projects, which is kind of amazing. Um, I have some links over at AboveRubyStudio.com still if you're interested in that. But like I said, we're really going to be having a lot of fun a lot of fun at the She Makes Club with the Cricut Explore and Design Space. And I know you're not going to want to miss what's coming. You'll get first looks and access. And this is just another look at that screen um, in the Cricut Help. Cricut's doing really amazing things with the Help. And here you can see I am switching the preferences back to what it allowed and I'm locking it back down. So that's really all I had to do. Closed it out and I'm able to uh, use design space in a very fun new way and I'm so excited even though it's still in beta mode um, it's pretty awesome so thanks so much for watching guys enjoy the moments and I'll see you again soon at above Ruby studio and she makes dot club bye bye